What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here along with special guest the Justin Flynn and we are continuing on the awesome quest that is the Battle Maison. How you doing today Justin? I'm feeling great and so is my mustache. Oh yeah, people are loving the mustache. I think it's like <laughs> the world screening of Justin's mustache today. Yes, <laughs> yeah the world premiere. <laughs> the world premiere. You guys are seeing it first right over here. Anyway, if you guys are new to the series that we're doing here, we're doing 10 episodes. We're going through the Battle Mason in order to get 50 consecutive wins, beat the Battle Chatelain, and get a statue erected in our honor. So, right now, as you can see on the screen, we have 30 straight wins. Today's episode will be battles 30 through 35. Uh, yeah, in the last episode, we're just keeping our momentum going. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. All right, let's do this. In our battle box, we have none other than the Pachirisu. We've got the uh, Altaria. We got Greninja and Rotom. So this is going to be good. There it is. I'm ready. And if you guys are excited for the episode, definitely smash that like button. Let's do it. Don't be scared. Okay, so any predictions on this next battle here, Justin? What do you think? I mean... It, it's got to start getting crazy tough, so um, I, I I don't know. I, I, the only thing I don't know is do we see Megas in this at all? Because we got to like definitely start seeing maybe more Pokemon that uh, kind of like have some synergy and stuff, I, I would assume. But uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that there are going to be any Megas, unfortunately. That's, yeah. uh, that's just what it is, and it's sad. But that's okay. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, uh, moving on, here we these. go. Okay, we got a Slowking and we got Vanillux. How often do you see these clowns? Oh, I just saved everybody. I just saved everyone's ears from oh, hearing Oh, did you just the... have a sneeze there? Oh my gosh, just full-on sneeze attack. For those of you that don't know or um, might have missed some of the other earlier videos in the series, I was super sick, but I just kind of finished uh, my cold there. But I did hear your question. No, I have never seen this combo of Pokemon before in my life. I'm uh, worried. I'm worried about the double Blizzard. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Is Slowking can Slowking learn Blizzard? I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know Slowking could. Yeah, um, he could. I don't know. Oh, there uh, we go. There's there's one. Okay, Vanillix, getting scared. Oh my Shire, Vanillix not getting around and a Psychic. Into a patchy there. Whoa. Oh, can he hang on? Oh no, the crit! Oh man, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. I'm gonna go with um, Rotom. I think is the the call yeah, here. Let's go with Rotom. Rotom, do the Thunderbolt towards the uh, Slowking, and I'll yes. return on the Vanillax. Uh, yes. Because that is the that strongest move. It's Stab. It's pixelated. Let's bust out this Thunderbolt on Slowking. Let's knock this guy out. This is really I tough because Patchy's gone. Yeah, this is brutal. Okay. All right. This oh, is not God. good. This is not good. That's okay. A Thunderbolt should do a lot of work here to, to Slowking, and Rotom is going to body both of these Pokemon. The only problem is I think we are going to lose uh, our Mega here. Um, but Rotom can eat up any attacks from these guys. It's just... We gotta be really careful here with our last two. We gotta yeah, make some really good decisions. Yeah, this is pretty crazy considering the fact that he hit both psychics on both of the Pokemon. Yeah, it's uh, it's nasty. He's doing he's doing some work, but uh, I think I think we're gonna be able to get rid of Slowking here. Um, and I'm not worried about a Blizzard from Vanillax. All right, and, do you uh, think Grin I should go go for the um, Grass Knot on Slowking, and then just do the T Bolt on Vanillax? Uh, the only thing I think is Vanillix might be a little bit faster now, and he's gonna out. He potentially could outspeed Rotom because of the. Um, oh that yeah, ability, that's right. The speed boost. You're absolutely right. So I gotta shut him down. Yeah. Uh, so I would just go with that transparent power, and then maybe a Thunderbolt onto Slow King here. All right. Good thinking. I totally forgot about that weak armor. Oh, with drawing. What? Wow. Please don't be a ground type Pokemon. Oh, oh Claw. It's oh, it's nice. Great. We lucked out big that time. That is awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, horrible trainer. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, we got a free attack against his Clawitzer, and it's super effective too, so that'll do at and least like 70. Clawitzer are super slow, man. Yeah, Clawitzer are super go. duper okay. slow, so that was really great. 90% damage. Well, he's probably getting that Regenerator. Doesn't Slowking have Regenerator? 
Oh yeah, potentially, but uh, either way. Um, oh no, no, Slowbro has. Slowbro's a regenerator one, right? Yeah. Either way, we, we're gonna win now on a Grass Knot Thunderbolt combo here. Grass Knot Slow King. Either way, it doesn't matter. Whoever, whoever you think uh, Grass Knot, if you if you think that Grass Knot is stronger than Thunderbolt, then do it to Slow King. Yeah. Um, isn't Slow King? Is he a physical tank or a special tank? He's I can't a, remember. I don't know. He's a special tank. Yeah, he, no, no, yes, 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 he's a special tank. Slowbro okay. is a physical tank. Okay. Either way, we got these guys. Crabhammer. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Luckily for me, I was grass type. Nice. And the big Thunderbolt should finish him off there. Jeez, I didn't know Clawitzer was going to be fast. And this Rotom's built, like, really slow, like I said, because it's built for, like, bulk. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's brutally slow. Um, and for those of you that might not know that, um, what me and Abdallah did is we kind of mashed our teams together. So I had the patchy in the uh, the patchy in the Wash Rotom, and then uh, he brought the uh, the Greninja and the uh, Altaria. But um, I think that uh, going with Fire here should be good. Yeah, no doubt, because it's going to go for the Ice Attack on me since I'm currently Grass type. Um, yeah, Fire Thunderbolt's going to be great. Fire yeah, Thunderbolt. Transparent I can, I Power can... Fire. I honestly cannot believe that we pulled this off, man. That was a crazy <laughs> match. We were we were in trouble, dude. I was getting worried. I'm not going to lie. That was like the coolest match. Uh, I, whew, don't it, don't man, be afraid to hit to that thumbs up off. button, guys, if you want to see crazy stuff like that. That was awesome. Just to start off, man. That's crazy. Yeah. No, that was an epic battle, dude. All that right, was an continue. epic, epic battle. All right, here we go. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Round two. Fight the priest. Oh, man. Who's this dude? Mansoor Harris. Hippowdon Honchcrow. All right. Uh, Hippowdon is uh, what? Uh, ground? Is he ground type? Yeah, ground. And he's not kicking up the sand stream. So I don't remember <laughs> what his other ability is. That's good then. Um... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's good if we had Greninja out, but otherwise, I'm not too worried. I mean, Honchkrow is isn't the, neither of these Pokemon are too uh, exceptionally great. It's just we kind of don't really um, yeah, have anything to counter yeah, their typing. Yeah, the only thing I could say is we can one shot the Honchkrow with a return, mm -hmm. but um, Hippowdon's going to take some work. He could EQ too, which is kind of scary. So Patchy uh, could be. Do you think we short, should um, protect or follow me? What do you think? Mm, I still think Follow Me Dragon Dance is a good call. I think Pachirisu can eat up one Earthquake, um, but if Haunch also, like, does something like, what, does, ha does Haunch Crow get, like, Brave Bird? Is that a thing? Yeah, Haunch it gets Crow? Brave Bird, it gets um, Sucker Punch. Um, Brave Bird, Brave Bird, uh, Earthquake could be bad here, but um, I think it's still nice to get a free 100% health Dragon Dance up. Oh, yeah, no on, doubt. Because uh, we could easily knock out Haunch Crow right now. Here mm -hmm. we go. Dark Pulse, okay. Patchy should eat that up. Whoa, oh my, oh what? my. Life Orb. Oh my gosh, that was that's, a strong Dark Pulse. Yeah, oh, I don't know like if he can take an Earthquake, invested. that's gonna be pretty brutal. Yeah, he's Man, gone. I was, mm, I was this close to like press and protect, but. No, 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 I think it's the, I think it's the right call. Cause um, wh what you should do now is switch in Greninja and uh, just hit him, with, you, have water, you have a water attack on, on Greninja, right? Uh, I do. I have Hydro Pump, but I yeah, think. So, what do you think, Hydro huh. Pump or Grass Knot? Well, uh, we could bring you, in. We could bring in Rotom to dodge any earthquakes, right? Yeah, you could bring in Rotom too, and uh, and then use a Hydro Pump. Yeah, yeah. That also works. Um, yeah, I think but yeah, now easier. it's over. Like, I mean, you're completely. Um, you're what's it called? You're Dragon Dance. You have almost full health. Like, we're in a really good spot. All right, let's try it out. Here we go. Return on the Haunch Crow, done, yeah. knock him out. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. I think it was worth it to not take that Dark Pulse, just in case. Yeah. Just in case he targeted you with the Dark Pulse. We saw how powerful it was. Ooh, what's he munching on, Citrus? Yeah. Uh, looks like it. No worries, he's gone after the next one. And an Earthquake doesn't affect uh, Rotom there, that's great. And you can um, you can probably roost, I think, on this turn if you want, and have Rotom finish him off, or, uh, depending on who they bring in, Gardevoir. Um, uh, maybe actually... I need to I need to attack this Gardevoir, because I can't take a dragon. 
or I'm sorry, a uh, fairy type yeah. attack. Fairy type so attack. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock out this Gardevoir, and we get, might as well go for the Hydro Pump again. Okay, yeah, you might be able to. Uh, hopefully, you can take her out, but she can be pretty um, resistant sometimes. Nice. Okay, that Dragon Dance is nice. Yeah, that helped out big time. Big All right, time, here we big go. Time, that big, big Hydro Pump finished this guy off, and we should be set. Nice. Yeah, there you go. No, that was that was a good call. Um, when, once I saw the Gardevoir, I knew that Roost wasn't an option because we couldn't take that attack. Mm -mm. All right, here we go. Right. Oh my gosh! See you later, Rhyperior. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's done, man. He is. His his defense is through the roof. He's probably going to survive the um, return with like. I don't 50 know. With a Hydro block. Pump. With a Hydro Pump four times effective. I don't know. But doesn't he have that ability that cuts it to only two times effective? Oh, maybe. I'm I, don't, not sure. I don't know. I don't even use his Pokemon. Forget him. He's out of here. He's done. Yes. Rhyperior was. <laughs> yes. He was big time uh, back in the day because he worked really well in Trick Room teams and he has crazy power. So. Oh, yeah. um, he was a he was a really good Pokemon in like the 2011 through like 2013 formats. Uh, I mean crazy. any any time before that you played doubles really, but now I don't I don't know if he's as prevalent uh, due to like all the the water typings and and just his speed alone I think. But yeah, now the Trick Room's kind of making a comeback. Maybe I don't know. Who knows, man? There's a lot of slow Pokemon, and, and if you think about it, you don't invest all those EVs into speed. You invest in yeah. other things. So. Exactly. It's so nice. It's so nice being able to like you know take. 252 and put it into like attack and then HP and something else. Absolutely. All right. So Scrafty's not an issue because one fairy type attack is four times super effective against him. Spiritomb is the same thing. Yeah. We're we're good. We're good. Yeah. They're gonna get shook. All right. Here we go. Spiritomb. Do two dark types on the field. Yeah. They're fairy. gonna have. They're about to have a super bad time. Here we go. Oh, the D dance, baby. It's watch Altaria on. dance all day. What are they going to even try? Substitute. Okay. Mm. How often do you see substitute in VGC? All the time. It's a great really? move. It's yeah? It's a great move. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. Huh. Do you swagger you? That sucks. Yeah, that's not good. Annoying. Uh, well, I mean, I guess take out the spirit tomb since it's just sitting there in the open. He's probably going to go for that focus punch. <laughs> Sub punch. Oh, that's going to hurt. Well, it won't hurt Altaria, but um, I might as well knock out the Spiritomb. Uh, let's try a... I'm going to go for it, and I'm going to go for the Protect. Sounds good. Kind of seeing that, that focus punch coming. There it is. Sub punch, man. Nope. <laughs> nope, Pashi nope. hit itself anyway. Great. That's okay. No worries. I would just have Patchy uh, take that, man. Well, it depends on who he's uh, aiming for. It doesn't matter, right? Or No, uh, it's going for Patchy oh, anyway. There we go. Wow, Dang it. wow! There we go, Patchy Risu, baby, that bulk. Oh my god. He's going to go for Patchy again, so we have to go for... Ooh, hold on. What's going to happen? I got to go for the Protect. Because I know he's you know, gonna aim for that. So let's go Cryogonal return. I think Cryogonal's gonna go first. No, he's not that fast. And I got the DD up, so we're fine. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm you can Earthquake Cryogonal, right? Or does it have Levitate? Um, I don't know what it has. I think you could have gone Protect Earthquake. Uh, it, I, I don't remember though. Cryogonal uh, has Levitate. I mean, it looks like it's Levitating. That doesn't mean it does. Yo, yeah, see, Cry we were kidding I told you Cryogonal that. would go why first. Why was it so fast? I don't know why Cryogonal uh, can be pretty surprising with its speed. Oh man, you really weren't kidding about that. Dang. Mm -mm. I thought that. Oh, high jump kick. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Into the protect, Pachirisu. Are you kidding me? That was awesome. Wow, what a turn. We got scared there for a second with that Cryogonal. Cryogonal is usually a little bit more powerful. Actually, I'm surprised that um, the Blizzard didn't do that much damage. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this Altaria really quick. It's um, over, man. With Scrafty high jump kicking the, uh, into go you. For the double, double protect? What? Uh, sure, why not? It doesn't really matter at this point. Come on, double. Ooh, focus punch! Come on, double protect. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, you stupid Pachirisu. <laughs> 
He's been carrying us this entire series, Patrice. Yeah. Anytime he gets confused, it's a heartbreaker. That's bad. There you go, get that big punch. Oh my god, that's so strong. You don't ever see focus punch in VGCs, right? Mm -mm, no, never. Uh-oh. Oh, crap, he's Moxie. That's annoying. Uh, you'll be able to break that and then uh, destroy him with uh, any Pokemon, because Altaria will go first, and then, you know, Rotom or Greninja will go second, and you can... It doesn't matter what move you use. You can break the substitute with Altaria, and then anybody else will finish him off. Actually, Greninja might go first. Yeah, so uh, I can break it with... Um... So just whatever you think uh, will work to break it. Obviously not a Dark... Uh, type move there or psychic. Ice beam okay. should be fine. Yeah, ice whatever. Beam break it. Whatever is like probably the most powerful move. I would recommend using whatever has the highest. Because uh, Scrafty can be kind of bulky. Yeah, no doubt. Well, here goes the ice beam, which should break. I mean, it's it's stab. It's coming off of full. There you go. <laughs> yeah, nice. And <laughs> then you'll no hit doubt him with the. Yeah. And go for the return that's four times super effective against Scrafty. Yikes. That was ultimate, man. That was so funny. That what one happened? clutch protect definitely helped out there. Yeah. Yeah, that was big with the high jump kick. I can't believe it, man. High jump kick right into it. How do you have two fighting moves on a guy? High jump kick and focus punch. He's a fighting <laughs> type. He's ready to scrap. That's right. Okay, here we go. Two more. Here's number 34. Hey, it's me, the owner of the world. This guy owns the entire world. <laughs> oh, all right, doesn't surprise me. Look at that bow tie. That says world owner right there. Oh my goodness. Uh, what do we have here? S Cavalier with the very fast iron head, right? Uh, S Cavalier is one of the slowest Pokemon in the game, as far as I know. Oh, is he? I thought he was. Oh no, it's Excelgore that's really fast. Yeah, Excelgore's uh, really fast, the little bug looking guy. Yeah, now, Bug mummy. let's see, let's do a little follow me dragon dance. I'm not afraid of Crocodile, because I can knock him out with one return. Mm -hmm. You can Earthquake a Cavalier too, I think, unless he's got Levitate. I, I don't I don't know if he's got Levitate or not. Mm, no, he doesn't have Levitate. He's got something else. All right, let's see, who is, here comes that Rock Slide, that's not fun. Mm-hmm, that kind of sucks, but um, it's, it's not gonna be too strong, I don't think. I got the flinch, Oh my gosh, man. did you flinch? That's I did, I did. But you know what? I think I could get the the return up. Or should I just go for the dragon dance so I outspeed it next turn and be safe? Uh I, yeah, I think you can still uh, I think you can still dragon dance. Um follow me. I didn't see what S Cavalier did though. He tried the swagger, but it missed. Oh, okay. So he's he's trying some shenanigans now. I'm not liking that. Shenanigans, man. <laughs> I call shenanigans. Oh, crocodile use pursuit. Perfect. Uh, okay, that was good. Gosh, this crocodile's weak. They have crocodiles can have such good attack. I wonder why this one's like built so weak. But then pursuit's also not a great attack unless someone's trying to switch out. Yeah. All right, lands the swagger on Patchy. That's okay. Fine. So now this is this is not looking so hot. I, I think it's okay because it's one shot on Crook and uh, it should be one shot on Escapulier if, if an earthquake can hit him. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the what? Follow me. Yeah, I might as well. Yeah, just, just follow fresh. me. Mm -hmm. No, it's perfect. Great call. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Patchy. Oh, no. Yeah, it's fine. I think you'll outspeed. Uh, nope, nope, quick dial. Okay, so we'll see right now if this Cavalier gets hit. Yeah, what? Okay. You Dang. can just EQ next time. Dude, and uh, with Rotom. That was bad. Ah, don't right, worry well, about it. Don't worry about it. Rotom, EQ, and uh, it's going to be a, a GG for these guys. Here comes that, ooh, super effective Iron Head. Whoa! Oh, we're in, now we're in a bad. But that thing now is we're in a bad. No, it's okay. Rotom and Greninja are both really good Pokemon to have here against the Scavalier. Uh, we've got Thunderbolt and uh, Fire, and I'm sure their next Pokemon's not going to be that great. There we go. Haunch Crow. We got this. Perfect. Uh, Thunderbolt, Haunch Crow, and uh, Fire on the Scavalier. Yes, absolutely. Easy. That's easy. It's easy. Two down. That is easy. All right, hidden power fire on S Cavalier. Here comes a T Bolt on Haunch Crow. Hopefully, the only thing is Haunch Crow might be kind of fast. Um, so um, I don't, I don't know how if this Greninja can take it. That's the only thing that scares me. Yeah, and now I'm currently a fire type, so it doesn't have anything that's super effective. No. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh nice. This thing. Wow. Oh, so, this much, but we got the oh, pair. Oh, 
got that lucky paralysis. Yes! It's over. Woo! Ah, Woo! Ah, Woo! Woo! That's Dude, awesome. this has been like the craziest battle maze on right now. Oh it is my so god, so crazy is fun. Oh, this is perfect, man. Hidden Power Fire, Magnezone. Yep. And uh, T-Bolt the Honchcrow. Dude. This is good. We, we got, got I think right we got team. lucky. We got lucky. We got a good team, man. Which is we have we have really good coverage. That's why. Well, okay, so now I'm fire type. This guy can't do anything. No, he, he might he's really strong though. He might thunderbolt you. Um But uh you can now you can hydro pump with Rotom and uh and fire with uh it's a, I mean it's over. Yeah, we which is go this. fire, this hidden good. or transparent power and uh and hydro pump. <laughs> <laughs> Still with that transparent power, yes. <laughs> they see it coming the whole time and can't stop it. <laughs> yes! Ooh, with a little bit. Min-max damage. Yeah. But that's okay, we got him. Bam! And Magnezone is down for the count. That was good. Yeah. We have a great team, man. They have a ton of diversity, and so it really enables us to take out a lot of different uh, Pokemon. No doubt, no doubt. All right, well, here we go. The last battle of the episode. Oh, wow. not already. Mm. Yeah, we're here. That one was it's too right. fun. Here we go. This is the guy with the uh, Charizard pants, right? No, 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 never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid guy. Charizard Heathrow. pants guy. All right, well. Hariyama with the fake out. Predicted watch. I don't know. Yeah, it sometimes carries a uh, fake out. Um, not too worried about either of these Pokemon though, so uh, uh, you know, you can follow me, Dragon Dance. Yeah, that's gonna be easy. Uh, Gothitelle's great because it prevents switches, right? With, uh, yes. was it Arena Trap? Or is it Shadow uh, Tag? Shadow Tag, Shadow Tag. Yeah, there we go. Alright, oh, well, there was a fake out. The Altaria. But fake out no, goes. Faster than follow me. Oh, fake out's number one. Yeah. Oh my, this is gonna be perfect. Eating up those charms. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be money. Yeah, I hope so. Um, you I'm might just get a dragon dance up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you're, you're gonna be fine if you follow me. I think Pachirisu can eat up, but Hariyama might be pretty strong here, man. I don't know. Yeah, he does have the guts boosted flame orb now. So, yeah, that, that could be kind of scary, but it'd be great if she just charms him again. I mean, yeah, that would that be would incredible. Be excellent. I would love that. Psychic, okay. Well, that's going to be very strong, right? Uh, that's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah, she okay. doesn't have the best um, special attack. Here we go. EQ. Oh, Earthquake. Oh, that's going to hit Gothitelle, too. Remember he was, like, really weak last time with his, like, Earthquakes and stuff? Yeah, because they probably didn't put guts on him. Yeah, it's like really weird. So you can take out Hariyama now and follow me with Pachirisu. Oh man, Pachi, look at this guy. Okay, taking out Hariyama and going for the follow me on Pachi. I mean, it's over now. Yeah, it's super over. You'll go before um, you'll go before Hariyama, and then she's gonna attack, and she'll just attack uh, Pachirisu. So um, we're even, but technically we're not because we're Dragon Dance. So. And he took oh, the charm. That's, charm. that's even better. That's beautiful. Thanks that's for that. That's game over. That is game over. All right, I'm afraid of this frost last though. I'm just gonna return yeah. it. Yeah, return on frost last. Follow me, and then maybe she'll charm again. Oh, that would be great. Come on, Patchy. <laughs> I feel you. Come on now, Patchy Reese. Ooh, ice shard. No, no, no. That priority's. Uh, that's fine. We lost Patchy, but I'm not. I'm not super worried. It will suck though if we get hit with the charm, but yeah, it's not the biggest deal. But we're at plus one. We're fine. Get out of here. It charm lowers what two stages? Oh, she's yeah. psychic. Uh, you can hang in there with that psychic. There you go, Rotom nice. baby. Oh yeah. Unpheasant. Ooh, I don't like Unpheasant. Remember we saw this guy a couple times? We we're like, what the heck is this thing to do? Yeah, and they still don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it used Tailwind, right? Oh, I think it did. I think a return Thunderbolt here is like the GG button. Ooh. Mental Herb well, Sky Attack? What's up? Mental Herb Sky Attack. Or Power Herb Sky Attack. Whoa. Yeah, he's not playing around. 
Dang, dude. Yikes. Not playing around. Definitely not messing around. Look at this dude. Unpheasant. <laughs> yeah, dude. Good job. How you like Thunderbolts? Taking How you those. like them Thunderbolts? And what? Taking 25%. Yes, after lefties. Not bad. Yeah, Ro Rojom could just eat this up all day. I'm not even worried. Um, and then we got Greninja in the back, right? Yep. So it's got Psychic. I mean, it's probably going to try to mix up its moveset considering I'm dark right off the bat. So I'll just go for Ice Beam because it's 100% accurate. Are you not carrying any dark moves on? No. Okay, no worries. So 100% accurate Ice Beam, 100% accurate uh, T-Bolt. We should be good. No, she's done. <laughs> It's it over. Should be good. Ooh, wow, dang, a little bulky, huh? Yeah, Gothitelle can can be bulky at times. She works, like I said, uh, I think before, really, really well in um in uh, uh, uh um what is that? On, not encore. Uh, that song, Paris song, Paris, Paris trap. Yeah, Paris trap. She's a great Pokemon in Paris trap teams. That is pretty good. Just do the Paris trap, and then right when you're ready, just double switch out both your Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because she she forces them to stay in, obviously, with the shadow tag, and then uh, and she can be bulky, and then you run protect on her, and it, it, it gets really annoying. Believe me. Yeah, but uh, I, I guess that's it, right? That's our five for this episode. Yes, that is it. We are there. We completed five episodes or five uh, five battles within this episode. It's awesome. So if you guys five enjoy dollar foot battles, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the episode, definitely, definitely smash that like button. Um, help us hit our like goal. And, of course, if you enjoyed our commentary, subscribe to both our channels. The Justin Flynn, there's an annotation on the screen right now if you want to check him out. He's a shiny hunter and broadcaster extraordinaire. Uh, my link will be right over there on that side, past the Pokemon. Feel free to do you that. Forgot, you anyway, forgot professional mustache grower. Anyway, we'll see you guys on, grower. what, battles 36 through 40. There's only about, what, three more episodes? That's it, man. And then that's all, folks. We'll see if we can do it. All right. Well, any last words for the subscribers, Justin? Uh, yeah. Uh, Abdallah, you forgot to mention that I'm also a professional mustache grower. So <laughs> he's thank you. very professional I, on that. See, like, yes. I can only do like the beard right over here. I can't do the stash <laughs> like him, man. He's been practicing. He's been practicing off screen. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't have much else to say. Thank you guys for watching the episode. Uh, yeah, if, if you want, to head over to, if you like mustaches, head over to my channel. But otherwise, <laughs> definitely hit that like button uh, if you are enjoying some of these battles on here and you want to see more from us. So All that's right, it guys. for me. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.